been the best content creator in the last, well, couple months. Uh, the reason for that is because, well, as you can tell, everything's cleaned out. That's because I'm trying to sell this apartment and move, actually, to a new location. So it's been not been a lot of room to actually make content for this uh, channel, unfortunately. And as a lot of you have already commented, we know that the Wi-Fi bug has returned to Quest 3, but you know what? It's not nearly as bad as it was, and we already know how it's supposed to be, so just keep nagging them to fix it, and it will be fixed. And for my sake, that 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 battle is not worth fighting, because we need something better, something more stable, maybe something wired, uh, at the same cost as the Quest 3. Does that even exist? I mean, all the wired headsets out there are extremely expensive, right? Not if you got one of these. This is the adapter for the PlayStation VR, and I know I'm really late to the party, but uh, I still wanted to test it out and do an unpacking for you guys so you can actually see how this works and how we can set it together. Now, I'm really sorry about the setup right now. As you can see, uh, there is not a, the, the quality is back to a web camera. I don't have the correct lighting and stuff like that, but still, I really don't want to wait anymore on this, so let's open it up and see what we got inside here. So this is the box for the PlayStation VR adapter uh, that you can plug into your PC. Uh, but in, ca in case you didn't know, you actually don't need this if you have a 20 series card with a VR link port, I can remember what it's called. But with that port, you can actually uh, use the function of the PlayStation VR just using the PlayStation VR app on Steam. Uh, but of course, for all of us others who have already upgraded to a, f a 30 series card or a 40 series card, we're gonna need this uh, adapter here. So, let me just take that top part first, and then maybe I can. There we go. It's stuck in something. Let's see what we get in the box. We get our warranty information, uh, or maybe this is actually the instruction manual is the actual adapter and it has a USB-C port behind here which is for where you're supposed to plug in your headset and then behind it we have a, a d d display port plug for where you're supposed to plug your graphics card but it also takes five volts uh, power here to actually run it so that's interesting of course, it comes with the power adapter, which looks pretty similar to what we get with our uh, our docking station and a normal radio power cable, which for my sake comes with a European plug, but in your case it might be American or English. There are yeah, four pages with some pretty easy instructions on how to connect this uh, adapter. So that's everything that comes in the package and uh, probably all that you need except for of course you will need our headset and we will need our controllers. I do like that the PlayStation 2 actually fits in the old case so I didn't have to buy a new one though so that's good. Okay let's try connecting this and see if we can't get it to work on the PC. I am gonna untangled this little guy so that we can get our power cable in and then we're gonna plug that in here like that this looks like a regular USB 3 yeah just a regular 3.0 plug I need to find a display cable okay so I had to do some adjustments to actually free up a display port uh, and that's like one of the drawbacks when it comes to this adapter. The adapter doesn't come with a display port, and a display port can be quite expensive. I wonder what are it costs nowadays? So like 24 euros or something like that. Okay, let's open up Steam, and then we're gonna go to our store, and we're actually gonna search for PlayStation VR. Here we go, PlayStation 2 VR app. We're gonna install that. Add to library. Use now. 
install accept how do I run this software there it is that's under uh, under software okay so let's launch that <clears throat> there we go would you like to install this software install nothing else is happening oh and there we go just took a while actually so this is welcome to the PlayStation 4 get ready to immerse a gaming experience with PlayStation VR 2. Set up your PlayStation VR 2 Sense controllers and PlayStation VR adapter and VR headset and then create a play area. Okay, so do you want me to plug them in now or should I wait? Press and hold the PlayStation button until it's turned off. Okay. That turned off and that turned off. Okay. Next, press and hold PlayStation and the option key until it starts blinking, okay? Okay, how's blinking? Open Bluetooth settings and put add device and select the Bluetooth, okay? Bluetooth. PlayStation real left controller, connecting. And there we go. Good. Now both of them are connected. Cool. Okay. Need some new firmware. Can't have to do this if you turn it off. Press the. Okay. So we need to Google search that. 4000 FE zero. If your experience is there, you are trying to update the sense controller, the only solution is to update them on a PlayStation 5. So that means if you're going to buy this, make sure that you have the PlayStation 5 first. That can't be right, really. I was able to update mine by having one pair at a time. Thank you for the workaround. One more tip, press the PS button on the sense for 10 seconds to turn off one. Okay, so let's, let's just try then. Let's try that trick. Thank you, Reddit. There we go. Okay, let's, let's try this again. Now only the left controller is connected. Let's see if this works. Hey! Okay, so if, if, <laughs> if you get that error, you need to actually just do one at a time. Update complete. Cool. Try the next one. Yes, and then uh, display port to display port and USB to USB. We've already done this, so uh, we can go on next. And then call and connect the power, which we have also done. And then connect the VR headset, which we have here. Okay, so now uh, the headset is set up and ready to use. So now we have to try out some games, I guess. So as you can tell, there are some uh, like inherent problems when you start playing VR on PC. That is with any other headset. You got drivers, you got updates, you got things that has to work for these things to work. But when you finally get everything to work and make sure that you have your volume up on your, your game, uh, this actually works really well. Oh my, even, even the finger tracking on these. Uh, I don't think we have our, no, it's just regular uh, vibrations when it comes to uh, the, uh, the tracking here. 
but uh, this actually looks and feels really good. Also, uh, oh, <laughs> uh, there we go. Yeah. So we'll see the gameplay. One thing that you're uh, stuck with, of course, is you the cable. This is why I hate the cable game. Stay there. Don't move. Okay. Did I get that? Oh. Again, me trying to learn how to play the game. Okay, so there's a few different ways of doing this on this compared to... Oh, I do wait. Just using one. <laughs> I love that. It depends on how hard you're hitting it, if it actually uh, chimes or not. That's pretty cool. Okay, didn't I get that card? Guys, don't have any blue cards on you. Let me see you have some ammo. Gotta be the vault. Yeah. Ooh, grenades. So now, this is a game that I think will look great uh, with PlayStation VR. Oh, there are some lags. And <laughs> Why is this aiming upwards? Controls. Orientations of controller. Let's try that. Okay. So, it's better. Still not perfect. Tracking is fine. You can tell that uh, the normals aren't popping in correctly. But there is something less crispy with the details on the PlayStation VR uh, compared to uh, the Quest resolution and uh, lenses. What you do have here though is HDR screens with uh, pretty good uh, contrast levels. The blacks look really cool. Uh, but you also got your moray, moray effects and uh, the details uh, in the pixels aren't quite as crisp. You got some slight chromatic aberrations when it comes to the corners of the lenses. But other than that, it's a good option for PC VR. So that's the PlayStation VR running on PC, and as you can tell, it's still a PlayStation VR headset. Uh, it still has the Fresnel lenses, it has its, uh, its low resolution, which means that you will get a softer image, you will get some chromatic aberrations in the corners, you will still have your moray more effect, but this is a good quality cable experience without base station for a PC. Uh, so if you don't have a headset for the PC and you have a PlayStation 5, this is a great option. Get that adapter box so you can uh, have the best of both worlds. And you finally get to play Half-Life Alex. Uh, 
And also, this is a great incentive for PlayStation for to, to give incentives to actually buy this headset because people were sitting on the fence buying this headset because they didn't think that PlayStation would support it. And they were actually right because I don't think that PlayStation has given this to the amount of support it deserves. So at least now it has a home forever in a PC market uh, if a PlayStation should uh, abandon it completely. So definitely recommend it. I do not recommend it though if you already have like for example the Quest 3 headset. Because the Quest 3 headset actually has better lenses, better resolution and a much sharper image. You can use a link cable and you can use it wirelessly so it should be fine. One uh, drawback that the Quest had that this doesn't have is that the Quest runs on batteries and if you don't have enough power output on your USB it will run out of battery. So this doesn't run out of battery. So that way if you want to play more than four or five hours then this is probably a better option uh, but again as i said i do recommend it if you don't have a headset for your pc this is definitely a viable option for you and you should definitely get the adapter especially if you have a pc rig and a playstation 5 then this is the perfect setup that you can use on both uh, units so that was the playstation vr adapter thank you guys so much for watching remember to like this video if you liked it subscribe if you want to and I'll talk to you next time, hopefully in a new location this time. Talk to you soon.